Hey everyone, Rand here and welcome back to the beginner build series. Today we are playing Wraith and updating that to 2023. Remember with beginner builds we're only allowed to use the killer's base perks and the base perks that are free to all killers in the game that you can find in your blood web day one. So if you want to hop into Dead by Daylight and play with this build after a few games of going and putting some points in a blood web, you could get to this without having to go with any other DLCs or any other killers. So let's go ahead and quickly break it down. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, Wraith doesn't have a lot of good perks on his own, so the only one we'll be using of his is going to be Shadowborn. This will increase our field of view by 15 degrees. This doesn't seem like a lot, but it's very nice and kind of just a feel-good perk overall. Second, we have Whispers. Whenever a survivor is within 32 meters of us, our icon will light up and you'll hear the entity whispering in your ears. Third, we have Jolt. Putting a survivor into the dying state with a basic attack will cause all gens within a 32 meter radius to detonate for 8% and begin regressing. And last but not least, we have Fearmonger. Whenever survivors are repairing generators, they'll be afflicted with the blindness and exhausted status effects. This will persist for 5 seconds after they leave the generator. As far as add-ons, we're keeping it simple with the Swift Hunt, which will increase our uncloaking speed by 10%, and Blind Warrior. Our uncloaked surprise attacks will inflict the mangled and hemorrhaged status effects until fully healed. Think of this as a fifth perk of Sloppy Butcher. Overall, it's a very simple and effective build, especially for Wraith, especially if you're just starting out with Wraith. And as always, if you are a Wraith main or you play a lot of Wraith like myself, make sure to leave a comment down below giving a tip to maybe new Wraith players. Make sure to like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. And we got family residence for the map today. Pretty nice map. So we should be able to do a lot. We have whispers, so let us know whenever a survivor gets near us. Kind of allows us to hopefully pinpoint and uh, ping pong really quickly off of survivors here. But we already got somebody moving up. We're still during the event, so they have some of these pumpkins and stuff they can use. Looks like you have a haste pumpkin. There we go. We're never really going to respect pallets too much unless we need to, like, try and make a play at one. But chewing through the pallets is pretty core for Wraith. Don't give it too much respect. We have somebody here. Here we are. Hi. Nope. We'll take that. You do have Shadowborn right now, which gives us a little bit of extra FOV, which is actually really nice because it helps us also, or can help even a new player, like, hug some of these tiles really, really nice. Let's see what I can do. Nice drop. I have someone else around here. Hi. My guy wants my attention. Oh, we have numerous survivors who possibly want my attention. Now, I know these two right here have flashlights, so we'll keep that in mind. Best, best job. All right, he's still back there. We're good. Could have background player, but I think we're fine. Yeah, hey, man. Why don't you take that somewhere else? Thank you. We always want to make sure we try and go for uncloaked tits. That way we get Sloppy Butcher on the survivors. And if like if you pay attention right here, it's going to last a long time. So even though we've been out of cloak for a moment, look at that. We still get the surprise attack in the top right. Which means that we still get to apply the mangled and hemorrhage status effects. Can I get another pallet from you? Oh, he held forward. Oh, I'm over it. We want to focus more on hit and run gameplay anyways. And we're moving resources. Hi. Nice. Overall, really good call. I do want to get like one tag here, but we got one more pallet over here. We might as well chew through it real quick. There we go. Pretty tempted to overall leave this at the moment, but let's see kind of where she plays off of. Yeah, we can go for it now. Is it something we can put away right away? Nope, not if I bump into stuff. That's fine with me. We want to see where we can find everyone else. They are doing the right thing by healing up. You always want to heal up pretty much against Wraith. There we go. We got ourselves a nice hit. What does he have coming up? Pretty strong tile. I have no interest in playing on this then. We have you guys right here. Yes, we do. Cool. And more than one. Nice drop. 
We're gonna eat a lot of pallets. I never have an issue eating pallets as long as we're getting from chase to chase really quickly. Man, those flashlights are brutal sometimes, though. I don't think you get anywhere. Yeah. If she would've went for the vault, we would've just taken our extended lunge coming out of a uh, cloak. Can we come back? No. Hold on. Yeah. Nice try. You so we swing. Again, I really don't want to play here. We want to catch survivors off guard because we have the fear monger and we have whispers. So we always know where we're going. Like we know someone's over here, and they're probably the two that are healing up. Yeah, they're both here too. I want to go back for him, but we'll see what we can do. We're gonna fake the chase. There we go. Just in case they are on comms, that way we can kind of confuse them a bit. Ooh, but he didn't stay. Can we maybe get the pallet real quick? Uh, you could always have vault. No, nope. alright, I'm over it. This is a really wonky tile to play on, so we're just gonna pass. We don't want these two or to heal up over here. Because we saw Jake just got healed up, so we want to make sure we can deny... Yeah. We want to make sure we can deny heals if we can. Howdy. Thank you. Cannot allow it. We have her over there, and... This should be fine. I'm sure you could probably get some kind of blind there, but it'd be hard. Oh, up you go. I know I have Pim over there in this corner. I've been trying not to play over here too much because it is a strong tile, but it looks like we have more than one survivor. Oh, yeah. There you go. Because we interrupted that, that means her heal bar is going to go down. Yeah, we're probably going to have to try and force this uh, pallet. As long as she plays these corners here, we have a hard time getting much. There we go. We gotta try and get her called out on one of these vaults. There it is. We lost our second gem, but that's okay. And it looks like Ripley had deliverance, so that's probably why we lost that gen. Ripley was moving over this way, though. I don't think she saw me. She's looking back, but I shouldn't be in vision yet. Oh, yeah. Hi. At least she didn't get the movement speed pumpkin. We could take her to basement right here, but I really don't want to. I kind of want to be back on the map and always have a good line of sight on the survivors. Some people always want to play by basement, but if you're not, like, trying to play basement, there's no need of hooking a survivor in basement. Whispers is still up, so we're over here. Hey, man, what's going on? We'll take that. We can continue the chase for a second. Someone's going to have to go for the save over there. Unless he gets somewhere, like, really safe. But I think we're good. He'll probably fake this one, right? Yeah, there it is. Here we are, and now we gotta try and get back to the hook because we're probably gonna try and heal up. Yes, cool. Can we interrupt it or they got it? Just in time. That's fine, we'll go ahead and take two then. We'll fake the chase here and see if Fang goes for the save. There she goes. She's trying to go for it. We can't let her have Shaq. There we go. And now we should be able to snag her. Yep. That's an extra bump right there from Swift Hunt. Allows us to come up just enough where we can get that really, like, Omega Lunge. And we're going to try and take her back to the same hook we had the uh, Ripley on. Alright. Now, did these guys stay under the hook? No. Okay. But we are over here. So, where at? Oh, right here. Cool. Ooh, and it's Ripley. Oh, yeah, you know, I always forget about made for this. I probably could have waited, but it's not really the biggest deal. Alright, we should go for the save now, right? Yep, there he is. Cool. We have Cage here. We'll give him a little bit of a love tap. I don't really have, like, the most interest for Cage, but we can fake a chase with him right now. And then we're going to probably want to turn around and double check these two. 
Because they're going to try and heal up. They both ran over here. Yep, here they are. Oh, no. Poor, poor Ripley. She tried predicting a, uh, around the corner lunge. Now I can take her down to the basement. One survivor down. Oh, fair enough. That's going to be two survivors down. I'm guessing this is just Fang calling it. So, might have been paired up with the other survivor, which is fine. I don't think it's going to change the direction of the game at all. Now we just want to see if we can find anybody. Whispers is still up, so we're over here somewhere. Hi, man. What's going on? That was good. Ooh, I might actually be able to get him here. No, he's got made for this. There's the fake. Nice. Nope. Can't allow it. Oh, I heard you. There you are. You're very quiet, but I did hear you. Hi. Almost making, like, no noise, but I heard him just, like, a split second. And there we go, everyone. That is the beginner build for Wraith. I heavily recommend, especially in the current meta. And if anything changes, you know I'll let you guys know. Try it out in your games. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Much love, everyone. And until next time, I'm Red. And I'm signing off.